What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys. This time actually revolving around the New York Knicks yet again. It looks like there's been just tons of New York Knicks news for literally like weeks now at this point. With it currently being reported that the Knicks have started their um, search for a new coach. And Tom Thibodeau is the, at the top of their list. And this is being reported by Shams. Obviously, there's a couple of other reports as well, such as, you know, Kenny Atkinson, I believe, is one of the high ones on their list. And, you know, I'm going to be making separate videos on that when I get more news and, obviously, more stuff to potentially cover. But, obviously, what we know now is that the Knicks, yes, yeah, they are looking for a new coach and that their coach right now isn't going to be the long-term solution, it does look like. And Tom Thibodeau is the one that they will most likely be trying to get. Now... I'm not exactly too much of a fan of this. I know people aren't exactly too much of a fan of this as well. I mean, Tom Thibodeau has been, you know, he's kind of like, he's coached, I think, yeah, 2010 to 15 at the Chicago Bulls and then 16 to 19 or so at the Minnesota Timberwolves. But the way he coaches, some people don't like. And then some people, there's literally a quote out there that says, Tom Thibodeau is one of the greatest coaches in NBA history. And then there's some people that say he is one of the worst to get more than five years. And which, again, a lot of people have their different debates. You know, some some of you Knicks fans watching this video are probably like, well, yes, we should definitely get him. And some of you guys are probably like, no, this is just another bad coach. So, again, a lot of people have different mixed opinions on him. Obviously, he was pretty successful with the Chicago Bulls. I mean... The way he kind of developed his whole entire game, he really got Jimmy Butler to where he was. And I think Jimmy Butler kind of thanks him for that. And obviously, he ended up getting Jimmy Butler back at the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the Timberwolves ended up making the playoffs for like the first time in, you know, so long. So it was a pretty successful run with Jimmy Butler. But, you know, some people say that his game style is a little bit, you know, outdated. He's just... Again, not exactly the coach that I think the New York Knicks should be getting. I'm, you know, I'm, I don't dislike him. I don't think he's not a good coach. I'm just saying there are probably better candidates out there. Like, again, Kenny Atkinson, which I'll be making a separate video on, you know, pr probably once I get more information on all of this. But I think he would be a way better coach to potentially have. I mean, what he was able to do with D'Angelo Russell was... You know, it was exceptional, and he pretty much took the Brooklyn Nets to the playoffs for the first time again in quite a while. Well, and then, yeah, they've decided to pretty much fire him, which is pretty controversial, all because Kyrie doesn't like him. And again, has there actually been a coach that Kyrie does like? I mean, Ty Lue's probably the only one that I think Kyrie actually fully at least liked a little bit. And other than that, I don't think he's ever had a coach that he's been full on, you know, on the same 100% page with. I mean, he got... He got David Blatt fired at the Cavs. He's got Kenny Atkinson fired right now. Apparently, he clashed heads with Brad Stevens, and it was, again, one of the reasons he didn't like the Celtics was because Brad Stevens would call plays that he didn't want. For example, a couple with Jason Tatum instead of using Kyrie Irving to his best ability. So, again, Kyrie never seems to get along with the coach, and Kenny Atkinson's available now, and I definitely think that the New York Knicks should consider him, but Tom Thibodeau as well may actually give the Knicks what they need. And why I say by that is, the Knicks, the Knicks is a very big, you know, it's a very, very big franchise that is always in the media, it's always got the lights on it, and it can be very harmful for, you know, a younger coach, a bit of an inexperienced coach to kind of deal with a team like the New York Knicks because they might not have the confidence, and obviously once things start to go bad, then pretty much everything shuts down. We've seen that case so many times with big, big name teams and coaches that are just, you know, never, barely even coached before come in and just fail under pressure. Well, Tom Thibodeau has definitely had the experience and has had the experience with a really big market team in the Chicago Bulls. He's had the stress to deal with and, he, you know, if for the most part in his career, he's dealt with it pretty good. I mean, he's made the playoffs nearly, like most seasons, he's actually coached in the NBA. I believe he has made the play, um, playoffs. So, if the Knicks are looking for experience, I guess he could actually be one of the coaches there. But again... He loves his Chicago Bulls players. Like, he's going to try and trade for a lot of ex-Chicago Bulls players. He did this on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Like, it's literally like, you can't even, like, argue it with it anymore. He did this with the Minnesota Timberwolves where he tried to get all his Chicago Bulls players. I mean, he got Taj Gibson. They went out and traded for Jimmy Butler. I believe there was actually a couple others here and there as well. I'm just forgetting. Well, Taj Gibson's on the New York Knicks. And literally, people are already making jokes saying that. Tom Thibodeau's are going to play, you know, Taj Gibson 40 minutes a game because that's just what he does. He loves his old Chicago Bulls players. And again, 
He actually did that a couple of times on the Timberwolves, so it makes that joke even a little bit funny because he's actually done it before. But let's be honest here, I don't think he's going to do that on the Knicks. Like, I mean, let's... Or jokes aside, I actually think he will definitely take this 100% serious, and I think that he would be a good move, but if they can't get Kenny Atkinson, he could literally be the guy. I think I do like him, but if it's a battle between him or Kenny Atkinson, I would probably say... You know, maybe get Kenny Atkinson, and then you can't really have Tom Thibodeau as an assistant coach because he's such a big personality. He's been a coach of, he's been, you know, coaching NBA teams since 2010. He's not going to want to do that assistant coach role and listen to Kenny or something like, someone like that. So, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what potentially happens again. I hope he comes in with the mindset of, you know, I want a 100% win. I don't want to, you know, then he's going to try new players out and all this type of stuff. I hope he doesn't go into the mindset on what he kind of did with the Minnesota Timberwolves. I mean, he ended up, you know, getting Taj Gibson. He got Jimmy Butler and he played players like Taj Gibson on such high minutes because he knew he could trust them and he knew they were serviceable for him before. So he was able to kind of go down that, you know, way and kind of do it. And I believe he actually got other plays here. And I mean, he got Derrick Rose as well and, you you know, Derrick Rose had a couple injuries here and there, and he still played in big minutes before Derrick Rose had that couple breakout games, which again, some people saying that a couple of the injuries that Derrick Rose had at the start of Minnesota, again, could have been to do with him, which again, I don't really think, I think Derrick Rose was having a lot of injuries prior before that, so you don't really think you can blame him, but he has a history with overworking players and giving players too many minutes when he should be, you know, spreading it around. AKA, he's not exactly that great with his rotations from what it does look to be. And I mean, Taj Gibson was a perfect example. He was playing a guy like Taj Gibson who should be getting 15 to 20 minutes a night when he was on the Timberwolves, maybe, to playing like 30 minutes a night. And he ended up starting him and all this stuff when there could have been possibly better starters out there he could have had. But again... I just hope he doesn't do this on the New York Knicks. It would be a bit of a concern considering they already have Taj Gibson and he will probably go out and try and get other players from the old Chicago Bulls days, which again, I don't think he will. I think he's going to take it all serious. And I think if he was to get hired by the Knicks, he would get told that not to do that. And again, it's up to the general manager. It's up to the general manager to sign these players. And the general, if the Tom Thibodeau just went up to the GM, you know, and said, I want to get these players... Obviously, the GM is going to give it some consideration, but again, he's going to do it with a non-biased perspective. He's not going to care about Tom Thibodeau's, you know, Chicago Bulls and Miami Heat today. So, again, I think, you know, Knicks, a lot of Knicks fans are worrying about how he handles his rotations and the players that he gives more minutes to and the players he decides to, you know, actually play because of his old Chicago Bulls days. But again, I don't think he's going to do that. I hope he won't do that. But of course, I've still got Kenny Atkinson as my number one for the New York Knicks. I don't think it would be... I, yeah, I don't think it would be Tom Thibodeau. But again, he he will be the number two option right now. But it's pretty much just ruling out as well. I don't think he would come in as an assistant coach. I just think that if you had him and Kenny, it would be two big personalities kind of clashing. It's not like, you know, a Jason Kidd type of scenario or a JB Bickerstaff where these head coaches can actually become assistant coaches because... They've assistant coached for so long and have done it before. Tom Thibodeau has been a head coach for literally 10 years now. He's not going to want to be an assistant coach and take orders from coaches like Kenny Atkinson. So, again, I'm kind of ruling out that one. But I think it would be pretty interesting by the Knicks. But, again, only if it fails with Kenny Atkinson, which, of course, when I get some more information on, I'll definitely be making a video on that most likely. But anyone, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys think the New York Knicks should sign Tom Thibodeau? Do you guys think they should sign Kenny Atkinson? Or do you guys think they should sign both or maybe look to sign a different head coach? Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. And yeah, again, let's, let's start the convo because a lot of Knicks fans definitely have their different opinions on this. And from what I've heard, I don't think you guys really like Tom Thibodeau as the main option. But of course, I don't think it'd be the worst idea, but it wouldn't be the best one either. So definitely let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on it all down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, Emma IRO slash Flowing Channel. Check out my podcast if you haven't already for all the latest, all the latest NBA content. NBA news, AFL content, you know, maybe some NFL sprinkled in here and there as well. Again, hopefully some more podcasts will be coming out very soon, but definitely check it out if you haven't already. But as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.